Right, Necropolis by Maureen F. McHugh that I read back in 2011. The cover tells me that it's a New York Times notable book of the year, which leads me to suspect that me and the New York Times have different ideas about reading material. I got it because I was told that it was science fiction. I wouldn't quite call it science fiction. There are several sci-fi type elements to it. There's Jessing, an illegal bioprogramming method that bonds a person to another to ensure loyalty. Sci-fi, sure. There's androids, though they get called Harney or Chimeras. There's house computers and simulations. I enjoyed this book and actually apparently I read it overnight when I couldn't be bothered sleeping one night. So, so that's got to be a recommendation. The characters were well constructed and the setting it was Morocco, which I found an interesting variation from the normal sorts of settings which you get more often. Uh, the culture was well done, it wasn't mishmash the way sometimes happens if a Westerners trying to write in the Middle East. Good novel, interesting characters, but the sci-fi element seemed incidental to the plot and I remember being a little bit underwhelmed by that because I'd wanted science fiction and I didn't feel that it met that need. I finished the last page without feeling as if I'd finished a story, I can't remember exactly why. But it just seemed to trail off with no actual final point being made or conclusion reached and that was not a plus for me. I like, I like my books to finish with an ending. So the science fiction elements, subtle, well enough done, nothing particularly new. The notion of programmed loyalty was dealt with extensively by Vacuum Flowers, which a book I adore. The android lover theme was covered in Tanithali, Silver Metal Lover, which, and Metallic Love, also books I adore. The hologrammatic room is used as a vicarious experience, well that's been used so often that there's in books and movies that there's just no point in mentioning it. The only really innovative part of the science or the fiction was how they would apply to African Islamic culture, which is bordering on the EUC. So I thought it was good, but not magnificent. By 2020, I had completely forgotten about this novel, and the only reason I remember it at all is because someone on Goodreads commented on it. So this book review is here for future, Deb. You have read this book. You probably don't want to read it again. It was just wasn't that good. It wasn't bad, just not that good.